A day? It's time for your walk, Martin. I'm just talking a day to the park for you. Okay. Thanks, Daphne. <laughs> Excuse me, miss? Yes? Is it alright if I have a seat? Of course. Go ahead. I think I've seen you in Cafe Nervosa sometimes too. You ho, I like your accent. Where are you from? Oh, thanks. Manchester actually. I'm Jessica by the way. I'm Daphne Moon. So, how long have you been in Seattle for Daphne? Oh, you know. Also, I'm here about a year ago to work as a physical therapist. That sounds like a good career move. Does it pay well? It did when I moved in with Dr. Crane and started working for his father. I'm sorry, the Dr. Crane, from the radio? That's the only one I know. <laughs> sorry, Daphne. Let me get this straight. You said you moved in with Dr. Crane and his dad, Martin? That's right. You get to live with Martin Crane? Aha, uh -huh. I thought you had a thing for him, even since that die in the cafe shop. When I had one of me psychic flushes. One of your... What? I did. When else you... I suddenly got this vision of you kissing Martin right here in this park. Okay, you know what? You're weird and I'm leaving. Hey, Daph. How was your walk with Eddie? Twas terrible. Oh? I had the misfortune of meeting your damn girlfriend Jessica. Hold on. No one said anything about her being my girlfriend. She's such an unpleasant person. I uh, don't blame you for not wanting to see her. I'm going to me room now. Oh, Daphne. Couldn't you stay out here with me for a coffee or something? Thank you, Martin. It is very kind of you to offer. But I think it's best if I just go and relax a bit. Roz, who is our next caller? We have Jennifer on line one. She is having a little trouble in the romance department. Go ahead, Jennifer. I'm listening. Hello, Dr. Crane? Okay, so, this is kind of embarrassing. It's okay, Jennifer. No one can see you. It's just you and me, talking on the phone like best friends. Go ahead. Okay, so I am a university graduate who just moved to Seattle about three months ago. I'm still settling into my apartment and part-time coffee shop management job. And your problem? I think I've fallen in love with an older man. He just... reminds me so much of my late father. I can't get enough of him. Well Jennifer, this is actually a very common issue for a lot of young women. It's usually just a harmless infatuation and often passes with time. Thank you, Dr. Crane. That's not the only issue, though. Did they? I was somewhere outdoors, and I met this man's roommate. She's an exotic, skinny, beautiful brunette with an accent, and I can't compete with that. Oh my gosh. She's describing Daphne. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's Jessica. Well, all I can say to that, is hang in there. This may be a painful time as you get settled. But you will meet plenty of available men in Seattle when the time is right. Thank you. I guess you're right. You'll meet plenty of available men in Seattle when the time is right, Fraser, please. I've been waiting longer than this, Jennifer. Actually, Roz, I think that was Jessica from Cafe Nervosa. How do you know? I recognized her voice. And the exotic brunette roommate is Daphne. <laughs>